everyone, my name is Christy and I'm getting ready to do a very first, my very first grocery haul. I'm starting Weight Watchers next week, Monday. Today is Thursday. So I was going to go grocery shopping and I went online. I got some recipes for some suppers that are somewhat kid friendly, I hope. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of that and hit the grocery store and kind of prep for next week. So I'm looking forward to sharing my first grocery haul with you. Stay tuned. Bye. I just got out of the grocery store um, I ended up spending this is my long receipt um, $242.92 so a lot of food the back of my vehicle is full so I am heading home and I will do a quick haul for you to show you what I got Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, I am back from the grocery store and I've got all of the groceries laid out. So basically all of this, I'll kind of do a run through here. All of this cost me $240 and it should be enough to get us two to three weeks I would say probably. So um, quite a while. So I laid everything here, not just what I'm going to eat for Weight Watchers, but, you know, kind of to appease the family as well, as you can see, frozen pizzas. But um, I'm going to kind of start over here with the vegetables and the fruit and kind of work my way around and just kind of show you guys what I have got. So the first thing I have is this spaghetti squash, and I found this recipe. Um, and I'm thinking it was Skinny Taste website. It's like an enchilada type of thing. It sounds really, really good. So I'm going to try that recipe this week. Um, I got some bacon, some bacon bits, of course frozen chicken breasts. I just find it a lot easier to get it in the bag and cheaper. I got two bags of the American blend, the lettuce and some carrots, as you can see. Some ketchup. I got some marinara sauce. I think there was a recipe that called for that. Some barbecue sauce. I got back here, it's broccoli slaw. I got um, that for a recipe and then a red onion. And some corn, some tomato sauce, and these grapes, which you probably saw me getting them in the store. Look how huge these grapes are. They look so good. And I don't know, I think fruit and vegetables are zero, so. Um, bananas back here and look how green these are they were 38 cents a pound is what it was and um, I think it was because they were so green I mean that was like the whole selection were these green bananas and then I found these here the small bunch that were a little bit riper so I grabbed those too um, I got some lemons apples two heads of lettuce I don't know if I went over the broccoli yet. That's going to be like a broccoli salad that I'm going to make. Some olive oil because we are about out. I've got chicken broth and beef broth. And that was for recipes as well. Some unsweetened almond milk. Some 2% milk back there. And this light and fit Greek 
peach yogurt. I've never had it, but I've heard people talking about it and how good it is. So I got that also for snacks or whatever. Um, sliced cheese, lots of cheese, mozzarella cheese, uh, Mexican four cheese, 2% sharp cheddar. Most of these are for recipes that I'm going to be making. There's another Mexican down there. And then some, what is that, shredded Parmesan Romana and Asiago cheeses. Um, Greek yogurt, some light sour cream, cauliflower. I got these Halo oranges, which I'm going to fight my kids for because they love these. I got eggs, a lot of eggs because I'm going to boil some. And I also want eggs for... Oh, recipes and that kind of thing and oh I forgot I got some of the simply fruit strawberry jelly for toast and I'm gonna have to look to see what the points are for a lot of these things because I'm honestly not sure and I'm gonna do like what I ate Wednesdays kind of keep track and journal what I'm eating during the day so you'll see a lot of this stuff again I promise um, I also got these Boom Chicka Pop, Sea Salt Popcorn, I saw some people talking about that. I got Veggie Straws, Zesty Ranch, uh, and then I got kind of a sweet one, a Caramel Cheddar Popcorn Mix, which sounded really good. Seasoned Bread Crumbs, that was also in a recipe that I had found. And most of these recipes I found on, and I'm going to totally butcher this, but Lula and Skinny Taste. And if you're familiar with Weight Watchers, I'm sure you know what websites I'm talking about because they're pretty popular. Um, Thomas Bagel Blueberry Muffins, which look really good. And again... I am completely clueless on the point, so we're going to find all of this out. Sara Lee bread, and it's the 45 calorie kind, so that's going to be mainly for sandwiches and for toast. And I found these flat out, let's see, what are they? Flat out wraps that seem pretty healthy, soft and no crust. It's Italian her herb. So I thought that would be perfect. I'm going to make some like egg salad and tuna salad and I thought I could wrap it in one of these. I also got some tortillas which is the 100% whole wheat tortillas and it's calorie wise isn't so bad. I'm thinking I saw somebody say they were like two or three points. Um, and of course, frozen pizzas, that's for nights for my kids, and also macaroni and cheese for my kids. Um, the other thing I got was this Jif Whips. My kids love it. So it's one of those things that they like to spread on toast in the morning. Not the healthiest, but at least they're eating something. And I thought, well, maybe I could have a little bit of it. I don't know. Whipped peanut butter and chocolate. I got light Hellman's mayo, which was called for the egg salad and another salad I'm making. And I love the crystal light, the peach iced tea. That's really good. And I got some craisins. That's also in a recipe, which I don't know if these are even locale or not. The recipe actually called for raisins, and I saw craisins. Oh, it's got sugar in it. Look at that, cranberries and sugar. I don't know. So if it's not good, then I will give it to my kids, I guess. But look, it's gluten-free. Hey, hey. Okay, so fiber one. Oops, I guess it would help if I point the camera at it. The fiber one 90-calorie brownies. Um, I saw some people have this as well. So if I need to have a, you know, cure my sweet tooth, it might be something that I might look into. And I think there are two points. Again, this is my first video and I'm completely new to Weight Watchers. So the points, I'm not really sure, but I will do a what I ate Wednesday. And by then I'll know what my points are. Weight control. 
I got the Weight Control Quaker Oatmeal and it's maple brown sugar, cinnamon, and banana bread. And it's instant oatmeal. I got the instant Quaker Oats. There was some apple muffins, a recipe for that I was going to make, and it called for this. Uh, and then I've got elbow macaroni, and it called for whole wheat, but do you know my store had no whole wheat noodles at all? I couldn't find it anyway. So the only whole wheat noodles they had were the spaghetti, and I don't like spaghetti. And then large shell pasta. So, you know, we're just going to kind of do it slow and watch the points. So that is pretty much all of it. So yeah, I'm going to now kind of prep everything, cut up vegetables, cut up fruit, and divide up snacks and figure out points. And I may add on to this video once I get that done. So I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.